this is a day that has hundreds of hours planned, and today we get to make it happen. On behalf of the Trent County Chamber of Commerce, thank you, and thank you, and thank you. We cannot thank you enough for your commitment to make our park the pristine crown jewel that it once was. I've been fortunate enough to be involved in hundreds of events. Our radio station does about 100 a year. And I was just telling one of the friends of Barclay, I don't recall ever doing a community project where so many people came out of the woodwork to say yes. That speaks very highly of our county, of our community, and of our park. The first group today that we want to recognize is our leadership trick class. They literally have put hundreds of hours into planning for this day. Almost every question that has been asked this morning, we've been able to say, done, done, done. And that's because of leadership tricks. So let's all recognize, everybody hold up your hand, trick leadership. Just so you know, trig leadership is where the idea came from to save our park, so to speak. Uh, it would, the first class, the inaugural class of 2011-12 met the first session. They talked about the pros in our community and the areas for improvement. Our park was on both sides of the paper. That class identified that we needed to give back to our park. The second class said, we're going to do something with that information and we're going to make things happen. And boy, have they made things happen. So I want to really be sure that we recognize that they're the ones who have planned today and coordinated a spectacular volunteer day. Next, we'd like to recognize our friends of Barclay. Hold up your hand. All the friends of Barclay crew. This is an amazing team that many people don't know about because they do it because they want to, not because they want the credit. Friends of Barclay donate 4,000 hours a year to Lake Barclay State Resort Park. And we transcended upon them like hawks and said, we want to help. Well, it's like, uh, you know, some help you wish you didn't have at times. You know what I'm talking about? Well, we've maybe done that a little bit to the friends, but because they already had such a great system in place, they already knew the park front and back. We knew that that would be a great partnership if we could all just uh, jockey around for position and make things happen. And they've had a wonderful attitude. They've worked really hard to be sure that we were welcome to help them. So I wanna be sure to encourage you to join Friends of Barclay. It's $10 a year and it's a bargain just to get an email to know what's going on at our park is worth way more than that. So please join Friends of Barclay. Danny Wagner is right there. She'll be glad to fill up your uh, application, but it's 10 bucks, and then they need help with ongoing projects. And obviously, these are the people already interested in being part of the park. It can be something like uh, maintaining a birdhouse. It can be something like painting a beautiful mural on the side of the swimming pool. But our Friends group, they are very diverse in their projects, so there's certainly something that you could do to um, add to that. Next, I want to recognize all of our park employees. Park employees. <laughs> Talking about having to step it up. My goodness, they're already working. This is their time of the year. Memorial Day weekend is next weekend. And all of these volunteers come in trying to tell them how to do their work. Well, we want to be sure that the park employees know that we love our park. We're proud of our park, and we're honored to be here to help you because we recognize that you've gone from a very large number of employees to not as many, trying to do the same amount of work and maybe more than what we were trying to do with three times the number of employees. Thank so you. thank you so much for your work and for keeping our park beautiful year-round, and thank you for allowing us to come help you make it extra beautiful as we go into the tourism season. Also, I would like to recognize our city and our county. We all know those of us who live here, that we live in an amazing community. But it would be very easy to say, this is state property, state needs to take care of it. And in many communities, that's exactly what would happen. We're not using our city and county budget for a state property. That's just not going to happen. Not in this community. 
when we went to the city of Katy's, our mayor, Lynn Bailey, said, I'm on fire for this. Let's blitz it. Let's blitz it. That's pretty amazing. And that's exactly what he did. He put his money where his mouth was. He came to the park. He sent staff here. So I want to recognize, our, do we have people from the city here today? City employees. Okay. <laughs> they have logged in hundreds of hours already at our park. And I think that really speaks volumes about our community. And then we have our county who has done an amazing job as well. They were here this morning doing some work for us. Anybody from the county? They may already be out on park. Okay. Again, hundreds of hours have been logged in. And you will notice as you drive through the park today, much of it is already trimmed, mowed. It looks fabulous. Uh, that is because the city and county and the uh, park employees have been working to be sure that we were prepared for today. So we certainly want to be sure that both our city and county are recognized for their extra efforts. Next, I want to turn over the program to County Judge Executive Hollis Alexander.